Oh. Do you think what happened on January 6 should disqualify him from being president again? Look, I believe that the uh, January 6 was a black eye on the country. I've been very vocal that I thought he should have done more to uh, keep the violence from heading towards the the Capitol. So, it, I don't but is moving Donald Trump should run again? I'm going to actively I'm going to actively campaign against Donald Trump uh, and make sure that we've got four or five really great Republicans right now: Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott. They can run and serve for eight years. Oh man, he had me up until that that last part. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Republican Senate candidate Joe O'Day. He uttered this these disloyal anti MAGA words. You don't want Donald Trump to run for president again. In fact, doesn't want Biden to run for president either. I mean, I think a bunch of us could agree on both of those things. But still, because of those words, he could have sealed his fate. At least according to Donald Trump, because he took to Truth Social to say this immediately. There's this rhino character in the great state of Colorado, Joe O'Day, that's running against the incumbent Democrat for the United States Senate, who's having a good old time saying that he wants to distance himself from President Trump and other slightly nasty things. He should look at the economy, inflation, energy independence, defeating ISIS, the strongest ever border. That's not a right way to say that. Great trade deals and much more before he speaks. MAGA doesn't vote for stupid people with big mouths. Good luck, Joe. So there's the the gauntlet's been thrown down. This is definitely not an endorsement. Don't vote for this guy. Hey, MAGA, don't vote for the Republican candidate in Colorado. Well, that's the promise. I mean, that's the problem that we're going to get to, especially when it comes to other Republicans within the party. But first, the first thing I thought when I saw this was, hey, so what did Joe say? Joe was being very vocal. He's being fiery. He doesn't care. He's calling out names. I don't care, former President Trump. I don't want you running again. Well, he's been called a loudmouth and stupid. Let's see how he responded to that when he went on NBC. He called you a rhino and he wrote, quote, MAGA doesn't vote for stupid people with big mouths. As you know, more than 1.3 million Coloradans voted for Mr. Trump in 2020. So what do you say to those Trump supporters who might say, how can we get behind Joe O'Day if, Mr. Pre- if former President Trump is saying that? Look, uh, I'm a contractor, I'm not a politician. My wife and I started a business out of our basement. We live the American dream here in Colorado. And, uh, you know, I'm not a politician and uh, I respect the president's opinion. Uh, He's entitled to that. But I'm like most Americans, uh, we want to move the country forward. Uh, I don't want to see Biden and Trump again in 2024. Embarrassing. My man was barking at the beginning. Then when he gets this very disrespectful post from a former president that you don't want to see run again. Well, I, yeah, hey, listen, I'm just a contractor. You know, I respect the president. He can call me a piece of garbage all he wants. You know what? He can kick me in my. And then I'll still be like, you know what? I respect his opinion. He's the former president of the United States. I just pretty please hope and maybe possibly an outside chance that you don't run again. Maybe, hopefully, maybe the strength just uh, just transcends across all of this entire party. Uh, more details because it could, it could potentially be a kind of race that Republicans would benefit from. That's why they're upset. So here's those details. The Trump O'Day feud benefits incumbent Democrat Senate uh, Michael Bennett, who pollsters at 538 will predict uh, will clinch his fourth term. Recent polls have shown O'Day making the re-election bid more interesting than expected, though. Keeping Bennett's lead to just single digits in a state where President Biden beat Trump by 13 points. Oh, he's going to be closing gaps as far as things like that are concerned. But now, because of this dust up, we saw it happen in Georgia in the last election cycle. How Trump decided to go ahead and infiltrate and sabotage other Republicans. I'm glad he did. But now they're worried about that too. O'Day, who's a pro abortion rights moderate, don't get it twisted. O'Day is a severe. Severe Republican that you could figure these types of things he stand on. Uh, he's a, a abortion rights moderate whom Democrats spent four million dollars against in the primary. Uh, was already in, a, in an uphill fight against Michael Bennett. It certainly is not helpful, is what Senator Kevin Kramer said. Uh, a Trump ally told the Hill. He goes, I would hate to see O'Day lose to Senator Bennett by a few votes just because Trump urged Republicans not to vote and we came up short of the majority by one senator. More, if Senator Mitch McConnell. Opposed every Republican candidate who criticized him publicly, 
We wouldn't stand a chance is what Kramer continued saying, referring to Senate Majority Leader, of course. The nation has to be more important than individual personal offenses. It's like they've never met Donald Trump before or even heard about him, the guy that they're following. There's more, if O'Day is literally the difference between the GOP majority and minority, you think about the profound policy ramifications that come along with that. To think you can be anywhere right of center and be willing to mortgage on a Republican majority just because someone says not nice things to you is pretty revealing is what another Republican operative involved in these Senate races said. Lastly, it's all about fealty to him. And you don't have to be a mathematician to realize that went in Colorado seven years, two years ago is what the strategist also added referring to Biden's 14 point win over Trump. So they're worried, AB. They're trying to figure out why this guy Donald Trump is thinking about himself and potentially sabotaging the party based off of his feelings and someone saying, I don't want him running again. Surprise. Play stupid games and win stupid prizes. Y'all better listen to y'all MAGA leader. Don't vote for that boy, don't vote for that man. Y'all better listen to him. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't let him have y'all out here getting y'all all messed up. Then what if y'all mans can't run again? What's happening now? Leave him. Listen, listen to y'all, listen to your people. Y'all follow him any other day, so keep it going. Have you seen any Republican that gets confronted like this by Donald Trump and then says, yeah, I said it and I mean it? Maybe there was one. Who? But they're not gone. Narrow, not, they all scared of him. Well, yeah. Well, she, well, we've seen, you know, Chin Checker, Cheney. <laughs> we right? have, yeah, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, uh, Ben Sass, all out. Then um, they know they can't say it until they're ready to go, which says a lot about these same three people, which get a lot of praise from many Democrats or many, you know, I guess pundits even. They're being courageous in the face of Donald Trump, and they're gone. That's when they know they can't.